Hey guys, and welcome to Rin's Vegan Life! I just had a idea to make a video on how I organize my kids' cups, bowls, and plates. So I know a lot of moms struggle with this because they don't stack very well. They don't fit nicely in a cabinet. <laughs> So I just thought I would show you how I do it and a couple of tips too. So let's get started. Okay, here is my cabinet right here. It goes all the way to the ceiling. But on the first shelf right here is where I put the things I use the most. So my coffee cup's on this side, which is usually full, but um, they're in the dishwasher right now. I need to do the dishes. And then on this side is where I keep my kids' cups. So I have the stackable cups and then Jocelyn she is almost two she still wants a bottle so I just keep it like this I have the small bottles on this side the larger bottles in a row on this side and then the cups and Jocelyn also drinks out of a cup but when she wants almond milk she wants it in a bottle and that really helps to soothe her help her go to sleep and help her wake up all those things so then I have the lid stacked in the back and that is that. Like, seriously, I have a tip for you guys. Just buy one type of bottle and one type of cup. Whether you're going to use a straw or a sippy cup, just buy one type and keep it in the cabinet. All right, now here is where I keep my kids' plates. I have some random stuff up there. And then my bowls, I keep my bowls with the kids' plates and bowls, and then the adult plates as well. Here are the kids' plates. So I decided to stack them because when I had them like flat, stacking up, they kept falling over and then falling out of the cabinet. So I decided to stack them vertically like this, and they don't fall out anymore. <laughs> so when I unload the dishwasher and I put them away, I put them in front here so I know which plates I'm not using because they end up in the back. And then I have the bowls. And the bowls and plates, like, it's hard to just buy one type. So all, I'm pretty sure all of these were given to me too. So you can stack bowls, that's pretty easy, and then you can just stack the plates like this. So it's not as important to buy one type like the cups are. And if you hear any noises, that's Jocelyn, she's playing. Rolling her stroller and being noisy like kids do. <laughs> Here are the lids and straws and silverware. I keep them all in this very wide drawer here. So I was using the plastic straws that came with this. Like these cups are take and toss and I buy them at Walmart. They're like, I've bought a pack for $1 before, but I think they're usually like $2.50 at Walmart. And um, they're seriously so easy and so cheap if you need to throw one away it's totally fine like no big deal um and they're easy to assemble so i lost my straw cleaner and so i didn't feel like the straws were getting clean enough and my friend suggested these plastic straws so they're disposable you can just throw them away when they're done using them and you don't have to worry about any dirty nasty straws so i decided to take her advice and do that and so i just put the straws here I put the kids' silverware on top. I just throw it in like that, the forks and spoons. Then the lids I put over here. These are lids that we've taken from Nana's house. I need to bring them back. So they're just kind of like in here with the lids. But yeah, that's it. And then I have my mason jar straws and then like me and Travis's like adults, forks and butter knives and spoons. But the kids' stuff is just kind of like around it. So I love these like big wide drawers because I can just throw the kids stuff on the side. And that is it. There you have it. That is my organization for kids cups, plates, bowls, forks, straws, lids. There you have it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped out a little bit. I know how hard it can be to organize all the kids stuff. If you want to see more organization videos, please like this video and let me know in the comment section. I am definitely an organized person. My house isn't always clean, but I don't like clutter. And that's something my dad taught me growing up. That is how I am too. I don't like clutter, so I get rid of a lot of things. 
um, but I'm not a minimalist in any way. <laughs> so um, if you guys want to see like how I organize my kids toys or um, how I do my laundry and put it away with a two-story home, um, anything like that, just let me know. I'd love to make these videos. I have lots of ideas. So have a wonderful day. Please share this video to your mom's groups or um, really anybody who you know who might be able to use these tips. Thank you so much, guys. I love you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.